Yeah. I'm Gord Holtzlander. I'm the board chair of Saskatoon Cycles. And our organization has over a thousand members and we are firmly in support of the motion to reduce vehicle speed to 30 kilometers per hour on roads designated as neighborhood bikeways. A change of rules like this proposal fits into our advocacy for the near term, which is to have a baseline network within the AT plan of safer, continuous and connected active transportation routes, free of gaps and danger zones, maintained appropriately, linking common Saskatoon destinations. We have seen how Councillor Donauer's tireless leadership has resulted in the approval of an active transportation rail crossing at Assiniboine Drive. So we know that Council can deal with intractable problems in order to make safer active transportation available. We also know that reduced speed is a significant factor in reducing harm to active transportation participants like cyclists. It discourages high volume and speeds of vehicular traffic. It creates a more welcoming and inviting environment for cyclists. Nothing like somebody rocketing by your elbow at 60 kilometers an hour. Giving, it gives all parties more time to react to the unexpected. It allows all parties to see each other well in advance. And in the worst case scenario of a collision, mitigates the severity and extent of injury. Anyone with even the slightest understanding of physics knows the faster your speed, the more bad things are available to happen. My odds of surviving a crash with a vehicle at 30 kilometers an hour are about 90%. As soon as that speed of that vehicle goes to 50 kilometers an hour, my odds of surviving that crash drop to 40%. So we believe that along with proper enforcement and appropriate traffic calming measures, as we've heard, are, will be put in place. A 30 kilometer speed limit on bikeways will contribute to rider comfort increased active transportation use and overall better safety outcomes for the thousands of us that ride bicycles in Saskatoon every day. And more importantly, the thousands more who would really like to ride it if they believed it was safer. However, without further developments of projects like the Connect Avenue C project, which employed neighborhood bikeways, this proposal could easily become just another unfulfilled promise to people who want to move around Saskatoon under their own power. I can only speak for the cycling community, but the tragic deaths of two of our own has galvanized our engagement. We have been too quiet for too long. We have let others lead the narrative. So we are already cycling on Saskatoon streets, paths and trails. And with the explosion of e-bike use, more and more bikes are gonna be on all of those on our roads in Saskatoon. We need a commitment to a better, safer future for active transportation in Saskatoon. So we strongly endorse this proposal and would be happy to advocate it, advocate for it on uh, two weeks from now. This is a good start towards making cycling safer in Saskatoon. Thank you.